Hi everybody. Today we're here in Townsend, Tennessee, the quiet side of the Smokies. And we're here at this Mexican all-you-can-eat buffet. Now, I have never been to or have seen, or at least I don't remember ever seeing, uh -huh. an all-you-can-eat Mexican Buffet. buffet. Yeah. You ready, Dawn? I guess I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're here in Townsend and they have an all you can eat Mexican buffet. Wow. Church and local specials get a 15% off lunch and dinner. A Mexican buffet. I've never heard of a Mexican buffet, but they have one here in Townsend and it's in this little building right here uh, on the corner here next to the marathon station. And if you turn the corner here and go that way, it takes you to Cades Cove. And of course, that way takes you back to Pigeon Forge. What What do you think about an all-you-can-eat Mexican buffet? I'm kind of curious about it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think this restaurant might have changed ownership. Or maybe they have a new concept. I thought this was the Monte something. But now it just says all-you-can-eat buffet. Anyways, let's go check this out. All you can eat. Hmm. And all you can eat is $11.99 per person and it includes your drink. I think that's a that's a that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Your drink included. Yeah. And then you got some outside seating. And uh sorry, no alcohol. So they don't have alcohol. But they are open. Okay, so this is the Mexican restaurant buffet and grill. And here's their menu. So you can actually order just on a cart and they have some pretty good dishes here actually. So they have a Cuban sandwich and they have tacos. Tacos look good too. They also have a quesadilla, a carne asada. So you can order off the menu or you can do the all you can eat buffet. And which is over there it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna do the all you can eat buffet. Yeah. So the buffet actually looks really good. They got different types of beef and grilled onions, and they also have rice and cheese and beans. Oh, they have a salad bowls. That's definitely fun. Some chips. They also have bananas, tortillas, sour cream, and verde. Salsa. And they also have some peaches and, and pears. The drinks are included and they're served in cans. Wow, they even got Mountain Dew and Coke. They also have some cereal and iced tea. And they brought out two cups with ice. And there's our cans of Coke. And this is my, this is what I got here. Just a little bit of everything. We got some refried beans, some rice, lettuce, um, some pico. We got some chicken. Um, got some beef there. Some peppers. It smells really, really good. And then I got some tortillas here, hot, warm. Actually, these are pretty hot. So what did you get, Don? I got some cheese, lettuce, some chicken, and beef. Do you want any sour? And a couple tortilla chips. <laughs> Do you want any sour cream with your? <laughs> I hope I got enough. Yeah, I think you did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. See, you, you got a little bit of everything too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool atmosphere in here too. It's uh, kind of yeah, laid out real nice. Us. But we're gonna eat, right? Let me give you cans of pop here. So what do you think so far? That yeah, is good, isn't it? I have to try the chicken. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything, like I did. <laughs> I made myself a little soft taco here. Look at that. A little bit of everything. Dawn, you got like a taco salad without a shell, it looks like now, doesn't I it? I had a couple of corn chips, but I, know, I didn't know if it's going to like the corn chips, so I only got really like a couple of them. Yeah. But um, oh, wow. I'm just eating it like that. You're eating like that. So you're doing like the low carb yeah. scenario. 
and so the bar isn't really big but it has pretty much the basic what you need to make a taco or a burrito or a taco salad this place used to be called the Monte Real and about June uh, the new owners took over and Alberto and his family reopened it as an all-you-can-eat Mexican buffet and uh, yeah it's uh, actually pretty cool so we're back here in the Jeep and we're gonna do our final analysis on what we thought of the restaurant yeah so first off <laughs> uh, the atmosphere is like a log cabin it doesn't actually fit the mexican restaurant uh if you go on pigeon forge or gallenberg they're gonna have mexican flags and sombreros and I'm mariachi bands yeah, yeah it, so but that's a good reason for that is because the owners here just have taken over uh they just started this uh new concept all you can eat buffet now there is no uh all you can eat buffet in the smokies that i know of so this is the first. So we wanted to come over here and check this out. I also want to give a big shout out to one of our subscribers out here who said, have you been to the all you can eat Mexican restaurant in Townsend of all places? And I'm like, there's no, I have never heard of that. It just sounds weird, like a Mexican restaurant out in Townsend, yeah. Tennessee. And yeah. it's like an all you can eat buffet, which is quite interesting. So. Yeah. so it's basic on the inside. I do like the layout. I do like that there's room between the tables. Um, and it was pretty clean on the inside. Uh, the bathroom area needs a little work, but I think all Mexican restaurants are like that, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so let's get back to the food, Don. Don, what did you think about the the buffet? What did you think about well, it? Well, I mean, I tried some of the hamburger, a little bit of rice. I'm not really a rice person, but I ate some. And I think I over do it, did it on sour cream, but yeah, it was not bad. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I would say that the buffet is basic. I know you said earlier that it reminds you of the Mexican section at the Golden, Golden Corral. Corral. Basic, yes. basic. I mean, you think about it. Cheese, salsa, all separated, <laughs> just basic. It does uh, look like that. Kind of remind me when my neighbors invited me over for uh, they're, they're Mexican and they had a graduation party and they had the garage. You know what I mean? It's like a family type type scenario. Um, but if you are a, like, let's say you really get into Mexican food and, and like fajitas and that. Now we didn't, we didn't try their, their menu. So that might be different. But if you really get into Mexican food, you might not like this because it's kind of like that basic, you know, uh, but the one thing we were talking about, you were talking about too, is that um, a lot of Mexican restaurants in the area, a lot of times Dawn orders something and it it's always got some kind of weird sauce on it and they cover it, like it and then she just pretty much pushes it all away and it drips and she don't eat or they might try to remake it for her. So this might be an opera, this might be a thing for us because I know that you're very picky on how the Mexican food is, you know, and what kind of sauces they put on it. It, it was good. It was good. But I wouldn't put up there, is it the best Mexican I ever had? No. no. But it's a buffet. <laughs> I do like the fact that we can pick and choose and, and, and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess the big question we always ask Dawn is, would you do, well, there's really no name here. It used to be the old Monte <laughs> Real. Or Mon would Monte you Real? do the old... All you can eat buffet Mexican restaurant again. I yeah, I probably would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do it again um, over in Townsend if I wanted to get in and out and just be able to pick my my food. Um, there's there's restaurants over here, but there's not like a bunch of them compared to Pigeon Forge and, and Gatlinburg. So it's good to you know have a Mexican restaurant if you're you know up in Case Townsend Cove. Townsend is or, the quieter side of Tennessee. It is the quiet side. And they, they call, there's really no name. It's just called the All You Can Eat Buffet. <laughs> Sounds weird. Um, maybe they'd still use that Monte Real name. I'm not sure. Uh, as for value, uh, $12 for All You Can Eat Buffet, including your drink. I think it cost us, they did get a receipt. You know, it's kind of mom and pop. Uh, I think it was 20 Twenty-six dollars. It's like $26 for both of those, was it? Yeah. It's actually a pretty good deal. I think around $15 anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, and here in Townsend, it's a good option. Like I said, there's no buffets in Townsend or nothing. So 
you know, this could be a good place to take the kids or, or what have you. I didn't see if there was any kids uh, pricing or nothing, but I think it was, I don't know, to be honest with you. Good question. Folks, that's going to do it here in the peaceful side of the Smokies here in beautiful Townsend. Guys, we love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.